Okay, so today I'm going to be building a small simple house here in Hunter's Glade. Um, the main reason I'm going to be doing this is because I personally know quite a few people that um, feel quite daunted about the thought of building a house from scratch. So I'm sure there are other people out there that also feel the same way. So I thought I would just share a few of the little things that I do which hopefully might make it easier for people. <coughs> so the first um, thing I do is obviously I try to think about what the kind of building that I want to build is um, and try and envision it slightly in my head. Um, so I'm just going to build literally a really tiny thing for this video. Um, Plus, I don't think you could get away with much more than a small place anyway because of the item limit. So, we're going for something small. I originally wanted to build a log cabin. Unfortunately, we don't have anything that we can really use for that. I did consider these little stumps and I did actually start building an entire house. And it kind of starts looking okay, but when you have loads of them, not only does it take up an insane, insane amount of item slots because they're so small, but it does start looking a bit weird as well. Um, so I gave up on that idea. Um, and then I thought about using things like, I did think about these, not only did they just really not look right here, um, but they're so big and long that I couldn't really put my windows and doors where I wanted them to be. Same with the planks. Um, the platforms were a little bit smaller and they did actually look quite reasonable as well. But again, like the gap between them, you can obviously merge them together if you do it perfectly, which mine is not. <laughs> um, then you can probably get away with like doing it like that but then I would just still not be able to make exactly what I wanted to make. So <clears throat> I've been quite boring and I've gone with blocks again. <laughs> um, I've just started building it over here so I will show you what I've done so far and explain why I've got all of these odd things over here. <laughs> so I started off building this big raised plank. Um, the reason I did this is because I wanted my house to be a little bit raised because not only did it look a lot nicer up there and adds a bit of something to it but also it stops the grass from poking through which if you make it any lower than this you're going to have bits of grass sticking through your floor which doesn't look that great. Um, and then I've placed rugs down, sort of in the shape that I want my house to be. So like just with all the little rooms, I mean this is going to be a very small room here. <laughs> um, that is a very tiny house. And so yeah, it's just given me a little bit of a guide to work to. And then I've gone around my rugs with these blocks, which has created the shape that I was going for. So I can actually potentially remove these rugs now because they've served their purpose. Um, this floor looks a bit naff but it's not going to stay there. I will put a proper floor in there and a proper little area at the front when I'm done. So the next thing, I've left a gap where the door is. So the next thing I need to do is consider where my windows are going to be. So I want to have a window at the front close to the door so to do that you're still kind of limited I'd like it closer than this to the door but it's gonna be fine being there in fact I could even make a nice big window here I did plan on a smaller one but I think I changed my mind <laughs> um, and yeah we just go over the top of all of the ones that I've put here already and uh, 
I did want a fireplace in here as well. Which I tend to usually build into the wall as fast as possible. I'm not sure. I might put one here actually. In which case I'm going to... Yeah, I'll put a fireplace there. So I'm still making little changes to my design as I'm going. <laughs> Okay, so the walls are up, they're still looking a bit naff at the moment, still a lot of work to do on this, <laughs> um, so now I'm just removing all of the wooden planks that were here and replacing them with one that looks a bit nicer. Okay, so we've made the base, which looks a lot better now. Now we just need some stairs. Now I know we have these stairs. They're not really going to match the style of my house. So I'm going to have to build some stairs. I've got these rough platforms, which I think would make some very nice stairs. I'm going to make my stairs over here on this side. I might actually quickly extend this area first. Okay, it's a little bit higgledy piggledy, but it's not too noticeable. Alright, then some stairs which I'm going to put on this side. I'm going to have to try and sort of sink this in here. I'm not quite decided how I'm going to... Mm. I think we should be able to get up there. Yep. Yeah. Okay, good. So we have some wooden steps going up to our brick cabin. <laughs> so now I'm going to work on the roof, which I'm probably going to use uh, planks for, and I shall be putting them so they are. That's not a very good example, but. <laughs> sort of inside each other like this so we don't have all those gaps so I shall be back in a minute and hopefully we'll have a fully functioning roof This is a really tiny roof. I mean, this must be the smallest house I've ever built. Um, and then... Way. As you see, it's going to be a lot of fiddling around with this. I mean, the roof's going to need moving. It's one of these blocks, even. But for now... I'm just getting the rough shape in before I start moving stuff around too much.
So the roof is on and it's looking a bit neater. I put fire in here just to make it look a bit less dark and dingy. <laughs> okay, so next I'm just going to put some windows in. There's not really much you can really use for windows. Um, I've used lots of things before. I mean, you can use these, which look quite pretty as windows, but they, you know, as you can see, they're not really fitting. Um, I'm going to use the grating that I used before. It's not very open and pretty, really. But we really don't have a lot of choice when it comes to building materials, so... The first one to make sure it's straight. Looks like it is now. You have to be careful to try and sort of make it go through the floor as much as you can, because... It's quite tall. We don't want it sticking through the roof. Okay, that looks good. We have big ones for the big windows as well, which is great. Like it does fit nicely into a lot of places, this one, which is another reason I like to use it. I would obviously prefer proper windows, but working with what we have here. Okay, we've got another big window here. Okay. So it's starting to look a bit more housey. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'd like to probably move these bits out a little bit actually because I've got some plans for up here. So I'm going to try and make this line up more with the bricks below. It's actually pretty dark up here so we could do with just getting a small little lantern up here can see what we're doing a bit better. There we are. That makes it much easier. Okay. I just want it to merge in nicely with this. Just want, I just want to tidy up the brickwork basically. So I will tidy up my brickwork and put my little area up here and I'll be back again. <laughs> Okay, so it's all tidied up inside. I've got my little platform up here with a ladder, which I'm going to make into a little bedroom at the top. It's not going to be a very grand one. This is just a little teeny house. I've got the fireplace here. I'm going to put a little tiny kitchenette under here. A little sofa, maybe a little dining area in the corner. So, yep, I'm going to decorate now. And um, then we shall start thinking about outside, depending on how many items we have left.
Okay, so I've um, finished putting all of the decorations in everywhere. Um, I did want to put a little bathroom in here, but there's not enough space. I could have actually made this place bigger because I've only used not even 500 items, so I could have made it a little bit bigger and put a bathroom in. But at the size it is now, no bathroom is going to fit in here, unfortunately. <laughs> but that's okay. Um, so the last thing I'm going to do now is just put a load of trees in. So it's actually a cabin. I say cabin. I, I use that term very loosely in, with this house made of bricks. Um, now I'm just going to put a load of trees in. So I've put all of the big trees in. Some of them might need a bit more moving to make them a bit more natural. Um, then I'm going to put a few smaller trees in and maybe a few rocks and things. Next I'm going to put some plants in, maybe a few little mushrooms dotted about the place. And um, just a few plants and flowers really. I'll just try and make sure that they match the actual area. And a few of these glowing ones because these are quite pretty. And they sort of give off a bit of a shimmery light. They are a bit in your face so I'm going to sort of bury them into the background a little. And have a little patch of them here and we'll have a small patch there and then we maybe we'll have a another proper patch of them by the well okay and then we'll have another flower a different color so I'll get some of these purple ones and I feel, feel like I need some sort of taller things here as well, so I'm going to go for a few more saplings. These ones are quite pretty. They've got the stuff at the bottom as well, which adds a bit more to the floor. Okay. And I think we're done. So now I'm just going to have a little walk through. So we come from our little area where we come into here, <laughs> we come through the portal Here we have an apple tree and a pumpkin patch We've got a little seating area. This is where we do our painting. We have a lot of inspiration in this beautiful forest. <laughs> um, this is where we store our wood for our fire. And here we have a little fireplace. We have a lot of books. They don't all fit on the bookcase, unfortunately. <laughs> um, a little dining area, a study area. We have a tiny little, a very full up kitchen where we've been making a stew. And then we have a little ladder leading up to a cozy little sleeping area at the top. And that is my tiny house <laughs> built at Hunter's Glade. I still have A lot of items well a hundred and something so I could have built the house a tiny bit bigger to put a 
bathroom in. But yeah, I needed these trees because it's a forest, so as you can see, we need more items than the buildable houses. Because once you've used all of the building materials, then all you can really do is build a tiny house and all of these areas they give us to build in are absolutely huge. But I'm still pleased with it and I'm still probably going to be buying it on live and building my little cabin. Hopefully I find a way of building it. I just want it to be made out of logs really. <laughs> but we don't have any logs. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed watching. Thank you very much and have a lovely day.